Hey guys, what's happening? It's Michael Kaminsky at Sublimation 101, aka Sublimation101.com to you and me. I'm doing a video that really I haven't shot in seven years. Again, I've used a product, but I didn't know if you knew. Seven years ago, Sublimation 101 introduced a product called Unreal. Unreal is a specialty holding media with a polymer powder that you basically are going to heat up the ink and the polymer powder together forming a transfer for light color cotton. Now, you need to remember, you still cannot print white. So any shade of the image that should be white, you might want to throw an off-white in there to obtain some color. Okay? Stick around, I'm going to show you how it's done. <laughs> okay guys, when Unreal comes to you, notice there's two sides to the paper. There's a printed side and a blank side. We are printing on the blank side. I sized up a beautiful image right here. I'm going to put our media. Notice I call it media, I don't like to call it paper. I call it media because it's not a transfer paper. It does not transfer any coating onto the substrate. It is a holding paper. That's why when we print this image out, and if you watch my Creative Studio print settings, I'm gonna hit the bypass tray with my tabloid size paper. I am gonna print mirror image. I am gonna pick polyester fabric, even though I'm using cotton, and remember, I want to print on high speed. This is one of the few times you'll ever hear me tell you to print on high speed because you don't want to oversaturate your ink. So you're going to send that to the printer and we're going to let that print. Product, I wanted to share with you one of the examples of the product that we made to give you an idea of what I mean about the shadowing and shading of your white area because white is not a color, it is a shade. We got a nice definition of black in there. Our red is Corvette red as you see. 100% machine washable and if I do it on white it's 100% bleach friendly. Hi guys, when our print comes out this is actually wet. It is not a dry surface. You are then going to take your polymer powder in your packaging and you're going to sprinkle it. Don't go heavy because you want, you'll see what I'm going to do here. So you see how I'm just basically covering the main areas. I don't want to miss. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick it up. You see why I said you don't need a lot? I'm going to pick it up and make sure I cover all areas of my transfer. Work over a garbage can. Now unfortunately guys you cannot keep this excess powder. The reason is there's molecules of ink with the powder that are in there and that's how you'll get spots. That's why I tell you do not apply too much. Now what you're going to do is, print, chances are you're going to have a heat press that you can lower the platen down and if you notice I have the transfer face up and I have the platen like that, I'm going to let that cure for one minute. Okay guys, what I want you to notice, if you pre or rewind the video and look at the transfer after we added the powder, it looked dusty. Now look, you see how we are baking the polymer coating into the sublimation ink right now. See how our color is starting to pop already. So I'm going to give that another 5 to 10 seconds and what you have to do is when you pick it up now, this is soft. So you need to understand, you can't slide it around. You have to pick it up and put it in the exact spot the first time. I understand. I'm going to pick up my transfer. Not touching anything. I'm going to line it up into the designated area. And I'm going to set it down. I'm going to come over to my heat press. I have to back up my pressure because we did have that heavy pressure. And I'm going to press that down for 400 degrees for about 15 seconds. Okay? Now what we're doing is we are bonding the transfer and the polymer coating with the ink to the cotton. 
Once that is done, we're going to open up our press. We're going to give this a couple of seconds to cool down because we want it to adhere. See how my paper's uplifting already? To cool down faster, so you know, always open up the shirt. And I can already see beautiful color coming in. See that? Look in there. Now you know why we call it unreal? Because once we grab that corner just like this and pull it off, it comes out unreal. Hundred percent machine washable. And people ask, can it withstand heat? How about I turn it over and put 400 degrees with 40 pounds of pressure? Okay. Oh, I love that sound. Guys, this is Michael Kaminsky from Sublimation 101, a.k.a. Sublimation101.com. Thank you for joining me, and this was Unreal.